Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 7 feature tutorials, ref returns and locals brought to you by Anglo Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about the other important feature of C Sharp version 7 that is ref return and locals. So as we know that ref keyword in C Sharp allows code to pass a value type variable by a reference as a parameter of a method. And to use a ref parameter, both the method definition and the calling method must explicitly use the ref keyword. So to understand these sentences very clearly, I have a simple demo here. You can observe very clearly here, I have a code snippet. So let me show you a demo of this code snippet. So let me jump into Visual Studio and here comes my main method. So what I'll do is first let me define the method public int um, and the method name is demo and it takes and let me make it as a static method a static method and it takes the parameters like int or let me go with the long long a comma long b then long like c but this variable will be passed as a by reference okay so now what i'm what i'll do is c equals a plus B and I'm going to return that C and this works very well okay why because you can observe very clearly we are getting an error here okay why because cannot implicitly convert long to int okay oh sorry this is the problem what I've done I've taken as long yeah and this works very well so now what I'll do is I'll call this method here so demo method so I have to pass parameters to the a b and I'll pass 10 comma 20 comma and this is okay uh, the variable c okay which is going to add that a plus b so it is done by the reference so I'll add ref okay and I'll create a variable called total okay but if I need to call this total here what I need to do is I need to initialize it first so what I'll do is long total is equal to zero so now now what I'll do is I'll just print that total let me print that total it's very simple console dot right line it's total so now when I run this application we will get the output as okay 30 as expected this is what we know about the ref keyword in my earlier in the in the earlier versions of C sharp so let me repeat the sentences again what we learned right now the ref keyword in C sharp allow, allows code to pass a value type variable by a reference as a parameter of a method so that's what we are doing in our code we are trying to pass okay value type okay value type variable as a ref, uh, as a reference as a reference type by using ref keyword okay and this is first sentence and coming to the second sentence to use a ref parameter both the method definition and the calling method must explicitly use the ref keyword so that's what we are trying to this is our method definition we are using the ref keyword here and in the calling in the calling method also we are to use the ref keyword this is what we know about the ref keyword in our earlier session in our earlier version of c sharp so now now let us understand what's new in c sharp version 7 related to ref okay so here comes the next slide okay in c sharp version 7 value can be written and stored locally by ref I, re I, re I repeat in the c sharp version 7 a value can be returned and stored locally by the ref keyword so c sharp version 7 introduced an improved ref keyword that can be uh, used to return values by reference and ref can also be used I repeat ref can also be used for storing values by ref in the local variable so let me show you a demo of it so it's very simple and here I have a demo you can observe very clearly okay this method is going to return okay and it's having ref keyword here so that is called ref returns and locally we can alter the value of this array okay with the help uh, using the ref okay so now what I'll do is let me jump into Visual Studio and let me show you a demo of the new things present in ref keyword okay uh, with related to C sharp version 7 so let me remove this as of now and this too and this one also so control s so what I'll do is uh, let me define a, a method first okay let me define a method it's a public method so public 
and let me make it static such that I can call it easily without creating an object and I'm going to use ref keyword this method okay ref keyword and I'll name the method as give me a uh, number yeah this is my method name give me number so here I'm going to pass an array and and I'm going to create uh, I'm going to pass another parameter which is going to take the index so now what I'll do is okay so now what I'm going to do is it's very simple so let me align it properly so now public static and this method is going to of type by teacher so that, that's the thing I missed there so what I'm going to what, what it's going to return is right now okay the ref keyword array of okay it's the array of the particular index it's going to return okay the med item of the particular index what you pass so you have to observe very clearly this method is not a simple method this method it's going to return by reference okay and now what I'll do is first let me create an array called numbers okay and this is how I'll initialize my array I'll tell it as 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 this is the items which are present in my array named are numbers and now okay first let me uh, put a comment which will make you understand very clearly first we have to create an array of numbers fine this is the first step so if I need to call this method here I need to do these actions there okay first I need to create an array of numbers next what I'll do is I'll call a method this method I'll call a method that returns by ref it would observe very clearly I'm going to call this method which is going to return by reference okay that is the second command what I'm going to put I'm going to call a method call a method okay that returns by reference so what is the method that method is giving me a number so how do I call it ref okay int I'll take a variable called item is equal to okay by reference I'm going to call it so it's give me a number okay give me so let me call this method here directly and it takes parameters so yes so what I need to do is I need to uh, pass this collection numbers then then I need to specify the index 2 so I'm going to specify the index as 2 right now so what it's going to return let me understand very clearly so what I'm telling us jump into this jump into this array and fetch the item in the second index so 0 1 2 it's going to return me 3 so let me print it out and let me check out whether it's going to return me 3 or not so before that let me add a comment telling like it's prints prints third number in the array third number in an array okay third number in an array is 3 so let me print that console dot right line item so now when I press control F I let me check so you can observe very clearly the third number in an array is 3 so that's why it is returning the value as 3 to us so what we did is first we created an array of numbers and then what we are trying to do is it's very special that is the thing it's present in C sharp version 7 with the re with related to ref keyword so we are trying to call a method which is going to return by reference so that's what we are trying to do ref int item and we are trying to call a method by reference so give me a number I'm passing this collection array collection here and I'm, I'm specifying the index so it's going to specify the index as 2 so the value present in the index 2 is 0 1 and 2 is 3 so that's what is going to return now what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to replace the third item in the array with some different number so how can I do that it's very simple so what I'm going to trying to do is I'm trying to replace okay trying to replace third number okay third number third number by some new number by some new number okay so how can I do that 
by reference so how can I do that by ref keyword by ref keyword what it will what it will do is it will update if I add a new number so how it's going to update it's going to update with the help of this reference keyword so it will update the array it will update the array so this is what the special so what I'll do is I'll just tell like item is equal to the new I, new number I'm going to change in third place is 40 so now what I'll do is I'll just print that uh, numbers and I'm trying to call okay try I'm trying to fetch the number because now I've replaced this item okay uh, which of the second index earlier it was 3 now I'm trying to replace it with the 40 so I'm cross checking in my last line whether it's going to return me 40 or not yes it's going to store it's it is now stored in the second the third place 40 earlier it was 3 so what did we do right now in this session is we learned like okay we can return a method okay we can call a method uh, that's going to return by ref keyword and also we can update uh, the local variable with the ref keyword this is what we learned in this session related to ref keyword in C sharp version 7 so this is what the simple demo what we saw right now okay and these are the new things like C sharp value can be returned and stored locally by ref okay and that's what we did in our example right now okay and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Anchor Drawing. you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference ref our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day